Hello everyone, welcome back to electromagnetic field theory. Now we are going to solve problem number 2 based on to the concept of potential gradient. In the previous video in problem number 1, we have solved for part A to F that means 6 parameters we have gone through electric field intensity, uh, vector form, its magnitude, the magnitude of uh, potential gradient, the volume charge density, all we have calculated based on to the given details of potential expression. Now let us solve one more problem of some another type based on to the concept of potential gradient. The problem statement is given capital V is equal to 100 under root R holds in free space, find capital E bar in part A, in part B capital D bar, in part C how much charge lies in the sphere R is equal to 0 0.05 meters. To read the problem statement, problem statement is quite simple, very short. We are given V is equal to 100 under root R. So as we encounter R theta phi, we can guess that it is representation in spherical coordinate system. In earlier problem statement, the representation was directly in the form of rho phi z that means cylindrical coordinates. So here we have representation in spherical coordinate system for potential capital V. Okay. The medium is free space so we can use the value of epsilon 0 that is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 or in another way you can take 1 upon 36 pi into 10 to the power minus 9. Now what is asked to us? We are asked to find E bar. E bar is the representation of electric field intensity vector. Okay. So we have seen the relation between potential gradient and electric field intensity vector. Electric field intensity vector is equal to minus of gradient of that potential field. Okay. So that we can calculate. Part B, we are asked to find D bar. So D bar is the representation of electric flux density, what we have gone into last chapter. Electric flux, electric flux density, Gauss's law and divergence. And lastly, in part C, we are asked to find how much charge lies in the sphere. The sphere is provided with the radius 0 0.05 meters. Now based on to the given details let us solve for part A. So for part A we write the given detail V is equal to 100 under root R. Okay. Unit is volts. Now we know the formula E bar is equal to minus grad V. So we have to represent gradient of this V. As V is in the terms of R, we shall be using the formula for gradient in spherical coordinate system. So minus outside the bracket. Inside the bracket, the first term we have del V by del R AR cap plus 1 upon R del V by del theta A theta cap that is the second term and the third term will be 1 upon r sin theta del v by del phi a phi cap. Here completes the bracket. So this is the representation of gradient v in spherical coordinate system. Now we put the v in this particular formula. Hence we get electric field intensity vector E bar is equal to minus in bracket the first term is 100 upon 2 under root r first of all into a r cap. Okay. The second term will give you 1 upon r into 0 and the third term will also be equal to 0. So E bar electric field intensity vector what is the required answer for part A will be left with 100 upon 2 under root r. Okay, or we can simply write it to be sorry, minus sign is left here minus 50 AR cap upon under root R. As it is electric field intensity, we always measure electric field intensity either in Newton per coulomb force upon charge or folds per meter generalized unit in SIU system of units. 
so this is the answer for part a this way we have obtained electric field intensity vector let us focus on to the d bar that is electric flux density so for determination of electric flux density we use the simple relation in part b d bar is equal to epsilon 0 times e bar if the medium is free space or air so we know the value of epsilon 0 epsilon 0 is 8.854 into 10 raised to power minus 12 into electric field intensity vector so electric field intensity vector just now we have calculated that is 8.854 into 10 raised to power minus 12 inside the bracket minus 50 ar cap upon under root r so this we can do or simply we can write minus 8.854 into 10 to power minus 12 first bracket uh, minus minus plus also we can do or simply we can write for part b d bar is equal to minus epsilon 0 50 ar cap upon under root r so this is in coulomb per meter square so this is the answer for part b now let us get back to the problem statement in the problem statement we require part c also how much charge lies in the sphere r is equal to given 0 0.05 meters so now for part c we can write how much charge enclosed denoted by Q enclosed. Okay. By the Gauss's law, Q enclosed is nothing but psi leaving, where psi represents the electric flux. So electric flux leaving is equal to charge enclosed is the relation given by Gauss's law. So electric flux density just now we have represented. So from electric flux density, we can have the calculation of electric flux. So electric flux is given by surface integral of d bar dot of ds bar so d bar we have minus epsilon 0 50 upon under root r ar cap coulomb per meter square <coughs> now we require differential surface also d bar we have differential surface in this spherical coordinate system we can represent r square sin theta d theta d phi ar cap so we have to take dot product d bar dot of ds bar d bar and this ds bar and then put it into the closed surface integral so hence we have q enclosed q enclosed is equal to first integral having the dimensions theta is equal to 0 to pi the entire range we have taken 0 to 180 degree also you can say and pi is equal to 0 to 2 pi it has also the entire range 0 to 2 pi or 0 to 360 degrees so we shall be putting the dot product here minus epsilon 0 50 upon under root r r square sin theta d theta d phi provided that r is having the value 0 0.05 so solving it to the next step we get minus 50 epsilon 0 0 0.05 to the power 3 by 2 outside the integral now the integral theta is equal to 0 to pi we have over sin theta d theta and here phi is equal to 0 to 2 pi d phi so having the integral solved further we get the next step q enclosed is equal to q enclosed is equal to minus 50 epsilon 0 in bracket 0 0.05 to the power 3 by 2 cosine of theta minus having the limits 0 to pi in multiplication with 
phi from 0 to 2 pi. So this will finally give you minus 50 into 1 upon 36 pi. We put the value of epsilon 0 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9 into 0 0.05 to the power 3 by 2 into 2 into 2 pi. So pi pi can get cancelled here and upon simple multiplication and division we get q enclosed is equal to minus 62.1129 picocoulomb. So this is the answer for part C. So we were asked three parts for this problem statement. Part A was to determine electric field intensity. Using the answer of part A, we have solved part B that is electric flux density vector and using the electric flux density vector, we were able to get the total electric flux leaving that was as per the Gauss's law, Q enclosed, charge enclosed. So how much charge lies in the region of the sphere R is equal to 0 0.05 meters. So that value we have obtained minus 62.1129 picocoulombs. So this is the final answer for the problem statement number 2. Thank you.